In this guide, we will transform the 31 kHz video signal from the Batasera 35 version to a 15 kHz signal. Valid for an arcade monitor or television. The first step is to download the Batasera image from the official website. We save the downloaded file on a hard disk or pendrive with the Bellina Etcher program. Once the image has been burned, we install the disk or pendrive in the PC. And we make sure that the boot from the BIOS is correct. Download the script from the GitHub page. All the links are in the video description. The script is valid for AMD, Intel or Nvidia cards. AMD cards are ideal. There is more information in the README file. Click on the code button to download the script in zip format. Unzip the zip file and leave it ready to transfer to the PC with Batasera. To transfer the unzipped script to the PC with Batasera, we will install the WINCSP program. Once installed, we start it and click on the button Start New Session. It will ask us for the IP number of the PC with Batasera. To know it we can look at the IP addresses assigned by our router. We'll also start Batasera normally on a flat monitor and in network information. The assigned IP number appears. The username is root. The password is Linux. Copy the folder build 15 kHz to the path user data, systems. We search in the path user data, systems, Batasera all in one. The file build 15 kHz Batasera. Shush. Once located, select it. Right click properties. And we can change here the permissions of the file. Activating the execution permissions. Now from WINCSP let's open a PuTTY session. To do this from the menu under commands. Open in PuTTY. Or the combination control plus P. The password is Linux. Now type the following in the terminal cd, user data, system, build underscore 15 kilohertz, batasera underscore allinone. So we can access the path. And now to launch the script we type dot build underscore 15khz underscore batasera. Shush. These command lines can be found in the description. Now we must follow the instructions in the script itself. It will detect which port of the graphics card we have connected and what type of card it is. In this example the graphics card is an AMD 7850HD. The connected port is DVI-I1.
Now you have to choose a monitor type among the options offered. In this example the first option arcade underscore 15. It asks if we also choose a monitor for use with Groovy Main. The answer is yes. The monitor we choose in the example is also arcade underscore 15. Now we can choose the resolution at startup and then the resolution we will use in emulation station. The next thing is to indicate the orientation of the monitor. In this case it is normal. Which is the same as saying horizontal. Now we indicate the driver that we will use. Being able to choose in the case of having an AMD card. Between AMD GPU with Vulkan support. Or the Radeon driver. It is necessary to know if our card has Vulkan support. In the case that it does. It is preferable to choose the AMD GPU driver. And finally we finished configuring the system for 15 kHz operation. The last step is to reboot the system. The next boot of the system should be on the TV or monitor.